Okay, now I, like a lot of other car people, have a project car. Now, also like most other car people, um, it's not done. And also like most car people, uh, it's been a long time since I've bought it. And also like most car people, it's been pretty expensive. Anyways, so the reason I'm bringing this up is because we're starting a new series. And this series is a build series. Uh, we're gonna start off by doing a build on my project car. Now, my project car is a little bit different from most people's project cars in that it's a little bit rarer and a little bit more unique. Now, granted, it's not something that hasn't been done before. Um, it's actually pretty common over the Atlantic um, in England, but it's not particularly common in the United States. And that is a Honda VTEC Mini Cooper, and not the fat, ugly Mini Cooper that's like really big and made in Germany by BMW and it's really terrible. This is a real Mini Cooper, which is the proper made in 1959 by English people and also pretty terrible. They're both pretty bad. Now, this particular car had been sitting in a field since the 1970s, and then me and my brothers picked it up because we wanted to do a build on it, decided, hey, let's go the VTEC route. You know, we thought of D-Series, we thought of um, uh, K-Series they do, they make rear-wheel drive versions, they do Hayabusa swaps in these things, but we decided to stick with the tried and true B-Series Honda swap into the Mini Cooper. It sounds a lot easier than it actually is. This Mini originally came with a 850cc, if I remember correctly, um, you know, front wheel drive based engine, and um, it was tiny, like really, really tiny. The, uh, the engine oil and transmission oil will do the same thing. The oil is shared between the engine and gearbox. Now, this thing was absolutely minuscule. It was also totally seized and complete trash. Uh, we threw it away. Yeah, we threw it away. We started working on the car and six years later, here we are. And it's over there in the corner of my garage. It's really kind of the sob story of most car people, which is lost motivation and like, you know, like other projects. Ugh. <sighs> other projects. Now, this car is my dream car. Like, ever since I was a little tiny baby, I've been watching Mr. Bean, and Mr. Bean drives a yellow Mini Cooper, and it looks like, a, well, it looks like a piece of shit, but it's pretty freaking awesome. And he does really cool, stupid things in it. If you haven't seen Mr. Bean, actually, if you haven't seen Mr. Bean, you should just leave. Yeah, go watch Mr. Bean. And then once you're done watching Mr. Bean, then you can come back and watch this. Because if you haven't seen Mr. Bean, your love for Mini Coopers, it's not there yet. Anyways, so this car is a 1960 Morris Mini. So this is when the Mini was made by Morris. And uh, like I said earlier, it originally came with the 850cc and it's pretty trash. Um, the car itself was sitting in a field super rusty. Um, but most of it was surface rust. Uh, there's very little that actually rotted through and uh, since then we've gotten rid of all the rust and the body shell is actually in pretty decent shape. So basically what this video is, is an introduction to a new series that we're doing, which is build logs. Now, I might expand this to other builds in the future, I'm hoping to, but for now we're gonna be working on my 1960 Mini uh, and finishing up this Honda swap and getting this thing on the street and properly running and hopefully done and painted and looking awesome so I can take it to, you know, autocross and take it to track days, take it to car shows, take it anywhere. This is going to be the ultimate weekend car. And so, well, let's get started.
focus. It's really cool. There it is. Uh, I'm not gonna work on it today. Uh, what needs to be done is wiring. That's the biggest thing. Uh, a lot of the main components are wired for engine related stuff, but getting the whole wiring harness in and uh, getting all the uh, you know uh, accessory stuff working, uh, getting the front end, the front end's actually in my basement, uh, getting headlights, taillights, getting all that stuff on. Body work, you can see there's a lot of body work that needs to be done. Um, other than that, getting it running to like a good place. The rad isn't properly mounted. I need to get the fans, uh, the radiator fans, you know, wired in and running. <sighs> you know, the whole dashboard. Basically, all the electrical stuff is what's left. Mechanical stuff is there. It does run. And maybe in the next episode, I'll show it running. There's actually no gas in it right now, but uh, it does run. It starts, it drives. I've driven it before. There's actually YouTube uh, videos of me driving it, you know, somewhere on another channel. Uh, but. Other than that, you know, I mean, yeah, it is what it is right now. Hopefully we can uh, get it finished soon. Coming weeks, months, hopefully not years. We'll see. Anyways, it's really cool. Bye.